Hello everybody, this is Mike here again. I'm going to do a quick unboxing video of my FingerTech Robotics Kit. This is the uh, Viper. Uh, it's just a basic battle bot. Uh, I figured it'd be a good idea to buy this kit, learn how to do battle bots so I could show my students and I could get up to speed on what I need to do to design my own battle bot, either 3D printed or are manufactured for metal and other parts so I got uh, three boxes of course I got the stickers three boxes so I got everything I got the uh, battle ready viper bot RC uh, combat robot kit I got the robot uh, sorry I got the radio transmitter receiver the lipo battery pack and the lipo charger figured i just get everything be all ready to go if i wanted to do some battle bots so real quick this is the basic charger the connections you need the charger itself pretty basic lipo battery charger pretty nice Nothing fancy, but a pretty nice, straightforward battery charger. Looks pretty good. Connections. Power. Battery connections, different battery connections for the LiPo battery. That's pretty straightforward, pretty simple. Nothing very complicated. Anybody who's done robotics and charging has seen this before. Instructions are pretty easy, straightforward, and simple. Show the stickers. This is the RC. Oh, here it is. This is the RC transmitter, receiver, controller. Also very straightforward. Pretty basic, <coughs> simple, straightforward. We should have rechargeable batteries. Uh, I'll look into that. That's a lot. That's a lot of double A's, A double A's. I'll show more of this after I get it up and done, uh, working. receiver so I'm uh, pretty basic oh USB connector to the back Back port right there. It says trainer. Instructions. Pretty straightforward. Nothing complicated there. This is the BattleBot kit itself. Instructions. Again, nothing very complicated if you've done robotics. Pretty straightforward, basic guide. To how to put the robot together. I didn't get any of the attachments for the robot. I figured I'd start out basic, get the robot to drive around. Then maybe add some, maybe look into some of the upgrades, like the forks. Maybe a battery upgrade, forks, other things. 
I'll have to check that out. Instructions are pretty good. Kind of step-by-step, step, had to get everything to work. I should be able to put this robot together very quickly. So, this is the battery that came. That, uh, I got. I might upgrade this, I don't know. You can see here's the battery. Here's the kit itself. Looks like polycarbonate covers. Wheels, two wheels. Battery, receiver, battery, all the wiring. More parts, the two motors, some connectors, battery connectors. I guess you could use a nine volt battery with this. Might look into that, nine volt rechargeable battery. Also has LiPo connections. So on, everything looks pretty straightforward, pretty easy. Wheels, motors. Switches, battery connectors. Nothing, nothing too bad. That I could see. The chassis itself. Hopefully I can buy the chassis on its own. If I get a lot of damage, I can just buy a new chassis. Maybe I can make my own, 3D print out my own. I'll have to look into that. I don't know. This is a lightweight amp bot, so I can't get too heavy. That's pretty much a quick unboxing video of the kit itself. And I'll do in the next week or two, I'll do uh, maybe a build video, programming video, some basic how to get started videos. These should be easy to replace. I could probably make these using a later laser cutter. Might be able to even make them a little thicker. So on so okay that's pretty much it quick unboxing video of the finger tech robotics viper battlebot rc combat robot kit all right cool okay that's it hey thanks for watching see you in the next video